Let's go back to the September jobs report. It was a real stunner. 336,000 jobs created last month. Unemployment rate still at 3.8%. Peter Marisi with us this morning. Now, that was some strong report there, Peter. What do you think the Fed's going to do now? Well, I think they're scratching their heads as to how they managed to get so far behind the curve. Think about it. The bond market's leading them up. The jobs market says they're way behind the curve. About two months ago, I published an article in the Washington Times that said we were heading for 5% 10-year Treasury rate. I think this might actually do it. You know, I mean, this. I, I think I'll send the article out again on that day when we close over 5%. My feeling is there's still a lot of inflation in the system, though this report didn't necessarily show it. The wage gains were not pronounced, but this job market is hot. Yes, it is. It's very hot. It, show, it doesn't show any signs of cooling down at all, does it? I mean, you look at all the industry groups, uh, and they all increased employment across the board. Where, where's, the, where's the weakness? Well, interest rates are having no bite. Uh, Corporations at all levels, the, the it's healthy ones and unhealthy ones, are leveraging up. They're rolling over their debt and they're leveraging up. Uh, car buyers are taking almost a $6,000 hit when they trade in. They're underwater by almost $6,000 on average. Yet they go in and buy new cars as if inflation will bail them out somehow. My feeling is, is that, you know, those are on their trade-ins. My feeling is, is these interest rates are just not enough to have the consequence that he wants. The other thing is we've learned that the pool of savings is not running down as fast as we had estimated from the pandemic. So there's still a lot of buying power out there, especially in the upper half of the income classes, not so much for people in the first quartile. I noticed the market's all over the place this morning, up and down. They're just trying to sort out. Well, it's confused. What's yeah, it's confused. I mean, but it's not longer clear. term, this is, a good, this is going to be good for the market. Because, you know, you can bear 5% interest rates if you have 3% inflation yep. because you can raise your prices. Yep. My feeling yep. is, is that, that, that this bears out that it's a fundamentally strong economy and the people that are poo-pooing the market right now are going to be very sad about doing it. Okay, I would never do that, Peter. Thank you very much for joining us, Mr. Professor Maurice. We'll see you again. We'll see you again soon. Take care. <laughs>